All right. The Board of Education approved the resignation of Karen Bierman at the August 2023 Public Board of Education meeting. That evening, the board instructed the board secretary to put together a public notice to be sent out advertising the vacancy for the board seat and announced that applicants that the board wished to interview would be done so at the September 20th, 23 Board of Education meeting. I would like to ask Mr. Gagliardi um, to give a recap um, of the events that took place um, since then. Globally or just related to the board vacancy? Okay. <laughs> so, um, as I believe I mentioned when the vacancy was created by statute, the Board of Education had 65 days to fill the vacancy and the board put in motion the process described by the board president. Um, that process uh, did not end with the board selecting a new board member within the 65 days. And so, as a matter of law, the board's jurisdiction um, to solve that problem itself ends and the matter um, then falls into the hands of the county superintendent. The county superintendent was advised that the board uh, was not selecting a candidate within those 65 days and therefore the matter was his to resolve. Um, if you were to look at the statute, and I'm confident that some people have, you would see that the county superintendent's um, role is established by statute, but the means by which he satisfies that responsibility um, are not set forth in statute. The county superintendent has absolute discretion into how uh, that vacancy is filled. In this particular case, uh, the county superintendent uh, communicated with the board president uh, and then uh, subsequently uh, with me, um, saying that in so many words, I don't know these citizens in Monroe Township and the Board of Education uh, is in a position to take this thing back, figure it out, majority rules, meaning that um, of the nine individuals here, five of the nine, if they, if they agree on a candidate, will be filling the vacancy as directed by the county superintendent. I know that there was a discussion at the previous board meeting about whether the Jamesburg representative had the authority to vote as a matter of law under the statute and a difference of opinion in that regard. That difference of opinion has not been <coughs> resolved, meaning that if there were another vacancy um, a month from now, uh, we would have the same problem. Under these circumstances, however, we have no problem whatsoever because the county superintendent, who was aware of that uh, dispute, said in so many words, I don't care about that now. I'm not resolving that issue as a matter of law. Majority rules, figure it out. And so with that, um, the Board of Education has had an opportunity to um, benefit from the direction set by the county superintendent, and it is up to the Board of Education to fill that vacancy as directed by the county superintendent with a majority deciding if they can, majority agreeing on a candidate. Uh, unless the board has any questions, I'll, I yield the floor back to the president. Thank you. And this evening, uh, we were in closed session from 6.30 to approximately 7.15. We had a very long discussion as a board uh, moving forward of what action we wanted to take. And we've decided um, that we've had ample time to review all of the applications, all of the information that was provided by those that um, sent in an application. Therefore, we will not be conducting any interviews this evening. At this point, I will open up the floor for nominations uh, for our open vacancy seat. Mr. Tafano? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to nominate Matt Gorham. I'll second that. Okay, are there any questions? All right, Ms. Tagliaferro, may we have a roll call, please? Ms. Alvarez? No. Ms. Fabiano? No. Ms. Belko? Yes. Mr. Tafano? Yes. Mr. Payne? Yes. Ms. Scott? Yes. Ms. Ratner? Abstain. So noted. Ms. Bora? Yes. Ms. Skirby? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you.